Hello and welcome, it is Imogen here. I have started Great South West Walk, which is a 250 kilometer hike east of Victoria. So you start in Portland, where I've just started now, I'm about 4Ks out of Portland, and go inland to Nelson along the Gunnedale River, and then back to Portland along the coast. It's gonna be my longest hike I've ever done. I give myself, I think, 10 days to do it, and lots of sunlight, because it's middle of summer. camp for day one which is Cubby's camp and also it's my first multi-day hike by myself that I've brought uh, a stove with me so I cook my dinner for the first time tonight kind of already feel like going to bed a bit tired um, this is my first hike in quite some time I've been spending the last seven weeks traveling around the US and Europe and not exactly doing that much exercise getting back into it with a 250k hike <laughs> Good morning and welcome to day two. I'm just leaving Cubby's camp now. Had my breakfast this morning and took it pretty slow. I end up having a hot coffee. I wake up about 7.30 and leaving close to nine. Gotta keep reminding myself to enjoy it and take my time because my fitness level is not where it was. <laughs> Good morning on day three. I'm just leaving Kubobni camp now, as you can see in the background, on my way to Fitzroy camp, which is 12 and a half Ks from here. They should be good. Just another day walking through the bush, which tonight though, I'll be treated with the river because I'll be making it to Mole site and that's where the river starts. So super excited for that. <laughs> So time for an update. I made it to Fitzroy camp. It's only another 22 k's until I make it to the river, which is going to be so nice. And yeah, over 30 k's, I've done that for a little while. So we'll see how that goes.
I've just hit the 30k mark and I've made it to Inkpot, which is this big dam about 5k's out from the camp I'm staying at tonight, Mole Side. And I realized the water looks really gross, but luckily my brother's girlfriend, um, Billy, bought me this life straw. So I just stick it in the water and then Mm, it filters it for me so it's like good to drink <laughs> who would have thought water looks like coca-cola <laughs> So I've made it to the river. Um, all up, I ended up doing 34k today, which I'm feeling pretty okay because I had stops like every 5k's pretty much from the start and it was pretty flat, like from what I'm used to. Yeah, it was very flat, but also it was, it was still challenging and it was really hot and seeing snakes is also a bit scary. Glad to be now able to go for a swim. <laughs> So for dinner, I added way too much water. So it's more like a soup. <laughs> day four of the Great South West Walk. I'm just leaving Mulside Camp now, which was lovely by the river. It was gorgeous, but probably my worst night's sleep yet. I'm not sure why. I met another hiker doing this trail, but he's only going to Nelson. So I talked to him for a bit this morning. The blister that's popped up, which I'm a bit scared about, but hopefully we'll push through that one. <laughs> another snake but I didn't get this one on um, video but uh, at least this one ran away from me <laughs> you can see that is be in the distance Ooh, that's lunch and a swim break for me <laughs> my fifth snake so that bumps up my snake a day average to one point something snake days on average <laughs> Okie dokie, so I have made it to Patterson's camp and there's actually people here there is four I was so dead walking back walking here that my four I was like if I go for a swim I will probably drown right now. Good morning on day five. Just leaving Patterson's camp now. This morning I got to see a koala, super cute. <laughs> Today, uh, doing 17Ks to Simpsons. So nice little break after having done 30 plus Ks the past two days.
realized I've traveled interstate. I am now in South Australia. Woo. <laughs> Back in Victoria. <laughs> about 20 k's today and I got to Simpsons campground where I thought it would be near the river but it's not and it looks like I'm gonna be on my own tonight on day six so i'm officially halfway time wise into my trip now um so about three k's out from nelson i think i'll be hiking like 26 today to lake moni beyond hope i'm pronouncing that right my sleep last night not great at all i think the campsite reminded me of the campsite where the rat crawled into my tent on the south coast track in tassie earlier last year and so I think I was just awake for most of the night, but hopefully the few hours I did get in were quality. Excited for today. I'm actually finishing the river section and going onto the beach, which I'm looking really forward to. <laughs> Walking out of Nelson now, stocked up on really healthy supplies. <laughs> no, I already packed for 10 days. I just got some extra things just in case because I used my lunch the other day. I just met two hikers and they said low tide is midday. So I planned that well without even knowing, so. so hot right now I've made it to Moni Beyond camp and oh my gosh that is by far the hottest I've been on this hike or any hike I think and I kind of feel sick it's that hot <laughs> all up today I did uh, 26 k's so a fair amount for, uh, for only a one day hike <laughs> Seven. I'm just leaving Lake Monibiong now, which is beautiful. Last night I went for a swim and tried to cool down from being overheated yesterday. Unfortunately, I think I got a hole in my camping mat, so the next three nights plus last night I was on the hard gonna be on the hard floor, so not fun, but apart from that, everything else is going well. Today's only 18 degrees and only like 17 k's along the beach, so I'm gonna take it pretty easy, just read and stroll along and yeah that's it for today
made it to Swan Lake and just been for a swim, as you can probably tell. Uh, today, yeah, I had a really good day. It was a bit cooler, so the lake was a lot more refreshing than yesterday as well. It was mostly just on the beach, and then after the beach, uh, walking to um, over sand dunes, which was really difficult, but absolutely spectacular views um, before reaching the campsite. It's an easy day in kilometres wise, but still quite challenging. Um, yeah, two big days coming up, so hopefully, we're well rested for that. <laughs> on day eight it's now officially my longest hike in terms of kilometers i am now over the 160k mark it's going really well only two bad things like my mattress so i've only got, I've only got another two nights of sleeping on the floor and also my pants have split which was okay when i haven't seen anyone but now i'm heading closer to portland i've had to try and fix it but all i've got is duct tape so anyway we'll see how that goes throughout the day off to the springs today which is around just over 30 k's uh stop at the tarot girl camp i say for lunch which is about 20 k's so all up today should be good and i don't think it's going to be as hot as what it was two days ago which is also good <laughs> so the duct tape did not work after sitting down for the first time so I realized I can just tie my thermal around my waist I knew I brought it for something <laughs> six snakes <laughs> So officially my longest amount of days hike I've ever done. I'm just leaving Springs Camp now, you can see in the background, and I'm off to Mali today. So it's my second last day. Yesterday I ended up doing 35 k's and it was actually I found it quite tiring last night when I finished. But today it's about 32 and starting early today because it's meant to be like 30 odd degrees. So get in as many k's while it's cooler and then take it easy for the rest of the day.
welcome to day 10. Uh, my last day on the Great Southwest Walk Trail for this time round. Yes, kind of excited just to get back home. Uh, I've got 22 k's today to Portland along the east coast of Nelson. I'm not sure if I'll see that much because the weather is a bit shocking today from what I've been having. But mind, and then uh, straight into Portland from there. So, and then a five hour drive home. <laughs> See Portland in the distance. <sighs> mm -hmm. 